what's up guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi i am sin welcome to my channel and i am also ceo and owner of sin city beauty and this is episode three of entrepreneur life with me so let's just go ahead and jump right into this video basically this video is going to be on how i found my vendor and basically i'm going to be giving y'all the tea on how to get your own vendor basically so let's just jump right into it so my first vendor that I had for my hair, well, that, I would never order, I won't order a strand of hair from that vendor anymore. Y'all, that hair, it took me a while to notice, but it was not good hair at all. I mean, it was good to start out with, you know, you gotta, you know, start somewhere to get somewhere else. But, like, now looking back, I would never, I would never. But I found that vendor actually through... AliExpress I was shopping with the person so often and basically like I you know was you know just dealing with them for so long that I decided when I wanted to go into you know selling my own bundles under like my own brand name I just messaged them politely like hey you know what's your wholesale prices what's your minimum order quantity and all the other good stuff and it worked out for me and it worked out for them so I started to sell with them so how I found my second vendor that I use now. I love her. She's my favorite. Like, best hair out there. So, you guys, you know, if you would like to see what I'm talking about, link is always in the description box. And my discount code for my YouTube fam is down there also. But I found her on Instagram. Instagram. And then she messaged me on WhatsApp. Like, she was, she kept finding me everywhere and just kept messaging me. So, I was like, let me give her a try. I mean, what can I lose? I don't, I'm dealing with one vendor now who, who is trash. So let me just try my new, try this new vendor. And it actually worked out great. It worked out great. Hold on. But it actually worked out great for me. And I worked with her good. I found my last vendor through Instagram also. So you guys, basically I'm going to tell you how to do this. So on my business page, most of my hashtags are like, you know, hashtag bundles, meat lashes, 3D, 5D, 25mm lashes, um, curly hair, straight hair, deep wave hair, body wave hair, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, these Chinese vendors basically just go through these tags to see who's selling hair, who's selling lashes, and then they message you to see if you were like a new vendor. So, that's basically what they do. So, oh, you look horrible. And you look stressed. It's hot in here, but they will message you. So all you got to do is get on your page, start hashtagging certain things. If you have a business page already and you want to start something else, use those hashtags because they will come and start inboxing you, hoping that either you don't have a vendor or you want a new vendor. So with that being said, you do not have to go buy a vendor's list. If you like, I don't talk about this in my business Q and A, which I will have linked down below if you would like to go see that, but. I really want you guys to hear me out about vendors list. If you're paying someone between $25 to $50 to $60 for a vendors list, for a list of vendors, not for no products, nothing like that, just for a list, that's $25 to $60 that you could be investing in your product if you take the time to go look for a vendor. Like, literally, a vendors list doesn't make sense to me. Why buy a vendor's list when you can just either go look for it yourself and then spend that money on investing in your company or you can do what I said about the tags and have your business page ready and let them come to you. Or check the description box for the link to my wholesale website where I sell lashes and soon to be here and I can be your vendor. Like you guys, I'm about to go screen record my Instagram request DMs on my business page. And I don't mind doing this because I have my own vendor for all my stuff, so I mean, they're not in my request, you know, messages, so they don't matter. But literally, let's go. So when I start recording, you can literally see I have 20 requests. And literally they are they're all vendors wanting to work with me, saying that, you know, they see on my page that I'm posting different stuff and would I like a new vendor? Here's one talking about hair and their delivery which they ain't showing their pictures right now and then you got this one saying what's her what's out number saying she do custom packaging and logos and all the other stuff 
images are blurred. I got to tap the team. But literally, like, that's all you got to do. All my request DMs is vendors wanting to work with me. And it's just that easy. And literally, people who are selling you vendors, that's what they do. They go into their request, probably from their business pages, or go look them up on, like, Alibaba, whatever it's called, or something like that. And just write down their WhatsApp numbers and their own DMs. Like, this one says, hey, dear, your page looks so beautiful. Are you looking for a new vendor? Do you want high-quality hair and lower price? Support simple order and drop shipping. New customer first order, free shipping. And then their WhatsApp number. Like, it's that easy. And literally, that's how I found my new vendor. One night, I just was going through my own DMs, you know, going through requests and stuff. Because sometimes, my customers will message me on my business page, and I can't see it because it goes to the request. So, every now and again, I go through there, and I just seen her name in there. And I did reply, and then she found me on WhatsApp, and was sending me pictures and stuff like that. And I was just like, hmm, I'm intrigued. So... I mean, to find a vendor is not that hard. Do not make it harder than what it is. And do not let your laziness cost you out of $60 for a vendor's list when you can easily get it yourself. Like, I'm giving y'all all the tea for free. So why turn around from this video and then go pay somebody for a vendor's list? If you want to do that, you can just, I'll drop my cash out down there and you can cash out me for giving you this tea right here. Like, come on now, it don't make sense. But anyway. Just keep this video really short. That's basically how I found my vendors and how you can do the same to find your vendor. I don't know if you'll find my exact vendor, you know. But there are there's so many vendors out there that has great hair, lashes, packaging, hair wraps, custom stuff like, and they they want to work with you. They want to find people. They want to work with as many people from as many places as possible. So. Just take like 20 minutes and just search on Instagram. You can search like eyelashes or look, search the hashtags. Eyelash vendor, hair vendor. And they'll pop up. They'll pop up all over Instagram. But that is this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed this entrepreneur life series, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below any ideas or any things that you would like to see in this series. And I'll try to get it out to you as fast as possible. Again, thank you for watching. This is Sin signing off. Make sure you shop Sin City Beauty also. Peace. Sin, Sin City wasn't made for you. Angels like you.